Hey everyone, I just want to say thanks for all the messages and the comments and the texts for uh, and all the people praying for me and, and wishing me well and all the support um, while I was in the hospital and even just this past week and just checking in on me. Um, thank you all so much. Uh, it's been just over a week since I had my asthma attack. Uh, about well a week and a and about three days and <clears throat> finally starting to feel a little bit more like myself you can still I'm still very uh stuffed up and um you know even the, after the first couple of days um with a lot of medication and stuff it was still uh, very dicey and uh, you know there's a couple other times during that weekend and the following week where I thought I had to uh, go back to the ER. I was just <clears throat> coughing so much uncontrollably and spasming, and and uh, it felt like I was you know, bruising my my ribs and uh, my abdomen and things like that. Just uh, just coughing and and not being able to breathe. <clears throat> um, but it's slowly, slowly get, get getting there, and we still don't know why. Uh, what, what triggered it? Um, could be could have been there was uh, some some forest fires or something in the area like we usually get in the summer here in, in the LA area um and I was already uh, not feeling a little bit sick before that so it, it could have just been a combination that uh brought everything down but um it was yeah it was just uh, uh been a really really rough rough week and still trying to recover had a couple other uh, challenges along the way. <laughs> uh, I don't know if other people with, you know, severe diseases, um, you know, have these experiences. I know a couple of friends that I've talked to. Um, you know, they they've had similar experiences where, when you're recovering, it's it's just as hard as a a battle as the initial uh, attack or incident or reaction or whatever. Um, it's it's not just a, a straight shot up. The, the body has to go through a different cycle to recover, and you still have to like, uh, I guess sort of like backtrack through the whole battle again. It's like you you fought your way through the battlefield onto to one side, and now you still have to get home, and uh, you still have to fight your way back through. So, uh, for this incident. Um, <coughs> a lot of the medications that I took, the um, inhale, the uh, breathing machine and the, and the medication I take for asthma called albuterol, that speeds up your heart a lot. And so I had a lot of uh, uh, heart racing and nausea and not being able to eat and not really being able to control, uh, um, have not being able to really have good motor functions. Um, also, uh, you, you know, I... I end up having still to take steroids and what what happens with that um, is well for one it really messes up the skin and thins the skin and it actually cause more inflammation than than it helps uh, in the end at first it looks nicer but uh, afterwards the skin completely breaks apart and I might have to it might take you know months for the skin uh, to grow back from from just you know a couple of days of taking a tiny tiny amount of steroids and after that um, the steroids also caused all my joints uh, to flare up so I had uh, you know, a lot of pain in my spine even in my jaw and every joint uh, in my elbows in my in my wrists and my fingers uh, just from uh, just from the withdrawal of uh, steroids after after I stopped it, everything started uh, swelling up and, and caused me to be in a lot of pain and having difficulty walking or even chewing or eating, just like I said, because the, even the jaw, um, the tendons in here, uh, they swell up because of uh, stopping the steroids. So, yeah, just been just been exhausting and... And, um, you know, asthma is, <clears throat> is not fun. People, uh, you know, it's like a, 
it's like a full on uh, marathon exercise where uh, <laughs> your, your your body is under a lot of physical stress and your 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 muscles are fighting uh, to the, to their to their max and you don't have any oxygen so so your body gets fatigued and you start building up all these uh, <coughs> uh, s- problems in, in your body just because you're 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 exercising physically exercising so hard and you don't have any oxygen so you know that's going to take a toll and takes you know weeks or longer uh, to recover so uh, I guess that's the semi short uh, update um, just want to let you guys know that I'm okay and kind of you know back back at it so uh, uh, it's great to hear from everybody though so it's it was that was like a nice blessing uh, from me sharing something that wasn't so nice <laughs>